A number of French leaders have admitted that without stealing Africa's resources, France would slide into being a third world country. Uh, Here's an article from the Global Times. This article is over 10 years old. And it quotes how both former French President Jacques Chirac and Francois Mitterrand admitted that, quote, without Africa, France will slide down into the rank of a third world power. Yes, both Jacques Chirac and Francois Mitterrand had made that prophecy. Without Africa, France will have no history in the 21st century. Without Africa, without pilfering its resources, France would be a third world country. Imagine that. Just think about how Africa could rise up and look like Norway, right? A mineral rich area, just like Norway, that exploded in popularity and cost in, in, um, and, uh, and living what am I trying to say? In, uh, not uh, cost because of, living, of oil not co- and gas um, discovery in the North Sea in, in 1969. 1969. But yeah, but right. not cost of living. I'm trying to say quality of Prosperity. life. Prosperity. Prosperity, yes. GDP. Explosion. GDP, ex- ex- exactly. France, just as a, an, an idea here, now you know why France is freaking the hell out. France controls the, the, the pumping of uh, Gabon's oil and the natural u- and the uranium goes right into France in order to help them build nuclear weapons. Or nuclear reactors for the uh, nuclear power plants that France doesn't want to use anymore. Yeah, exactly. So that uranium that's there in Gabon goes right up, right up to France. France simply lined the pockets of the president, giving him millions of dollars. And this relationship has enriched this family for 55 years. And, of course, the Bongo family uh, controlled the presidential palace under the watchful eye of the United States and, and, and France and other Western leaders. France has 110 companies in Gabon. The U.S. extracts over half of its oil. And nearly half of the country lives in abject poverty. How does that work? An oil-rich nation, a mineral-rich nation, just like Norway, except utter poverty thanks to Western control. Uh, Perhaps not any longer, though, because the country is wildly rich in manganese, diamonds, gold, uranium. Minerals are so important to the country's economy that the entire economy revolves around the country's mining industry. The country is rich in timber, by the way, just like just like Canada. The amount of timber this country has is phenomenal. Billions of uh, billions of barrels of crude oil reserves. So no wonder Western powers like France and the United States are scared shitless at the prospect of Africa kicking out Western influence in Niger and other countries. And And actually raising their standard of living based on their own resources. Right. And aligning with the BRICS nations. At the Africa summit a few weeks ago, President Putin saying, we want you to keep your own minerals. You should be able to enjoy your own sovereignty and make partnerships that keep you safe and secure, not be raped by the West. So Africa is lining up some new friends these days uh, and tired of being bullied. And I want to just show you here the amount of crude oil reserves in Africa in 2021 by country. Just leave this up on the screen here. And I want to see if anything jumps out to you here. Look at the names of all of these different countries. And then I would love for you to do just a simple Google search to see how the United States has destabilized or placed troops or is basically raping the minerals of these countries. The list is pretty exhaustive. All of these countries have some sort of Western meddling involved in them, do they not? No one bigger than Libya, which totally destabilized. And the United States, of course, assassinated Muammar Gaddafi. So look at this list. It's unbelievable. And of course, Gabon was worked lockstep with President Obama to totally destabilize Libya. It's interesting, right? When your friends, friends stop helping you. Mm -hmm. Look at this chart. It's unbelievable. 